Thank you for visiting my channel. This is the Queen Phoenix. This stitch is called double crochet thermal stitch. It's a very nice and thick textured st stitch. Slightly flexible and extremely easy to work. The one downside of this is that it does take more time and more wool. So let's get right into this. Grab your yarn and grab your hook. For this stitch you can use any number of, of chain stitches. Just add three. So for this example I'm going to make 15 stitches. 15 chain stitches. But I'm going to add three more which will give me a total of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'll be working in the back loops of my chain stitches. Please like, comment, subscribe, tag me in a video if you try the stitch out or in anything that you're making. Hit subscribe if you want to. You are going to make one for row one, one double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So that's one, two, three, four. And we're going to make one double crochet. Ah. Let me actually make the double crochet. And then you will make one double crochet in each of your chain uh, stitches. So you'll work one double crochet in each of your chain until you come to the end. This is my last double crochet for a one. You will chain two for row number two. This does not count as a stitch. It's simply so you can turn your work. Normally, you will turn your work. But for this stitch, only turn your work vertically. We're going to crochet into the back loop of this first stitch and directly down into the back loop of the chain stitch. I'm saying back loop because if you turn your work, you will see it is the back loop. <clears throat> now let us double let us do just that your first double crochet yarn over go into the back loop and the back loop of the row directly below that bring it up get the length correct yarn over yarn over again that's the first one the second one yarn over go through the second double crochet back loop and the one directly below it of your chain stitches. Bring up a loop and finish off your double crochet. Again, yarn over into your back loop, into the back loop of your chain stitches, yarn over, pull through the loops, bring up your yarn, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through the next two loops. And we're going to continue that until we get to the very last stitch of this row. Remember, this is a repetition. So you need to do this on each and every row until you get your desired length. Continue until you get to the end of the row. You can slow down this video in your settings and you can even enlarge it if you are using your phone to view this video. You'll see as you walk, it does get easier to turn it. It's always the few when you start that you will need to have your work totally vertical. 
But as you go along the row, it does not have to be totally vertical. Just continue going through the back loops and making your double crochets. When you get to the end of your row, your last stitch is your turning chain. And you will work the exact same way. In the top of that loop and directly and directly below it. Oh, it's always been my struggle to find the last one. I always struggle with it. I got it. Right. Going through the last one. Double crochet. Done. Row two. You will do the exact same thing. Chain two and double crochet. Don't forget to go through both loops all the time. The one from your top row and the one from your bottom row. You will see when you turn your work, you will be going through the loop of the row that you just did, the back loop and the row of the previous and the row directly below it. This is a nice stitch because these stitches actually line up and you can see them. Okay, let me turn that you can get a better look. And you will continue to do, the, to do this until you get to the end of your row. You will do this until you get your desired length. On the next row, I'm going to show you how to close this project off. Because you will see this stitch, <clears throat> it gives you steps. You have like a little ridge or a step here. So we're going to close that off. This gear, I closed off with single crochets. So it will be one chain and single crochets. But this one here, I'm going to show you that it can be closed off with a double crochet. And it's your choice whether you want a longer stitch or the shorter stitch. So I'll show you that next. To close this off, you will make two chain. Yarn over. We're going to go through both loops now of the row you just completed and the row directly below that the back loop of that row. Let's do just that. You're going to yarn over, go through two loops of the previous stitch, the back loop directly below it, yarn over, pull through all three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Let, let us do that again. Yarn over, go through both loops of the previous row, the back loop at the bottom, Yarn over and pull through. Yeah. Again, yarn over. Into the two, into the stitch directly below. And you will continue this until you get to the end of your row. all done thank you so much for watching this video this is the queen phoenix out